you know how to create your database connect to your local host and create your table so now we're going to insert data inside our table using php mysql procedure so let us begin let me type the code as suppose as can as we can then i'll I So here I'm connecting to my local host and here I'm selecting my database that I want to create to insert data in my table. So I will write a query which is my SQL query. Then we start with the connection. this first So here I'm saying that insert into work PBL the, the, the table known as work PBL. Mm, insert into work PBL. Then our uh, our role name, which is username, and the password. And password, then values, name, and email, and password. So, username is equivalent to name, and password is equivalent to this five zeros. So, let me just check it out. Let me write, write the if statement. Let us run out. And this got an error. And then eight. Let me fix this error. <laughs> and there's the error. So let us see if it will still function. <laughs> I didn't save my work. Oh, sorry. Forget. Forgot that. So, I think it will work. And data inserted success. So, as you can see here, we got only one data in one row. So, in one column. So, let us refresh by clicking there. So, there are two data. So, we've inserted name and it is password 00. zero with PHP code so guys let me show you using 
object oriented so if I write code fast if I just write So I'm done with the code. So we are connecting first using uh, object oriented. Then we write our query and starting to work to build our row name, which is the name, and our second row name, which is password. Then we insert into our column the username and password, which is the username, and this one is the password. So we just type the connection then our query then we take we put in our query variable inside our query so that we can run this query then we confirm if our data has been inserted if it has been, been inserted it will echo out success so let us try let's refresh and success our data is inserted so let, uh, let us refresh here and here is our data rows and our password so, so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe for the next videos